In this video, among our series of videos on how to add IP cameras to your DVR or XVR, I'm going to show you how to add IP cameras on a network that are other than 192.168.1. Before we begin, I'm going to show you that as the DVR ships out, all of our recorders and cameras are on this IP address. So if your router, your network is a different IP address scheme, you want to first set the DVR to that. So in this case, I'm going to sh put it on 10.10.1.108. And my default get gateway happens to be 10.10.1.1. Hit apply, and the DVR will take that IP address. To confirm, you right click out, go back into network, make sure it's saved the settings. Now, to add my IP camera, I'm going to go into the camera management menu and go to registration. To get to this menu, you already need to have enabled channel types for IP channels, and I, I explained that in the video above on the first video on this page. Let's go to registration. Change the filter to none and hit device search. If you're on a network that allows network discovery and there's no firewall blocking it, you'll be able to find that there's a camera there. And if you notice, this 192.168.1.108 IP address is the same as what the DVR had. That's why it's important to change the IP address of the DVR before proceeding to initialize cameras. Initialization is needed to set a secure username, password, and uh, some security questions into your IP camera so they don't get hacked, on th especially if they're on a network. So what happens is when I initialize, the DVR copies over its username, password for the admin user, and then some security questions that it has programmed. Usually we do all of this for you before the DVR ships out. It's available in our security camera system guide, what everything is set to, or you can always email us and ask us. In order for you to connect a IP camera to your DVR, you want to initialize them one at a time. The way we recommend is, as pictured here, you connect the DVR's LAN port to the uplink port on your PoE switch. Usually that's a gigabit port. And then connect one camera to the PoE switch to one of its PoE ports and initialize it. We recommend doing it one at a time, otherwise you'll encounter issues. So I have one camera connected to my PoE switch. Click here, hit initialize. It asks you, do you want to copy your info over? I say yes. Now it gives me an opportunity to change the IP address. If you're an advanced user and you understand what networking principles are, you want to set this to an IP address that matches your scheme. I'm changing mine to 10.10.1.200, so a different IP address. If I'm adding five or eight IP cameras or however many, I'm going to keep on just sequentially adding them, keeping an Excel list or some sort of table on a piece of paper. Here, I'm going to change my gateway IP address to match my gateway. Hit Next. And it says Finished. It, well, there was a success initializing it and also modifying the IP. Now that the camera has been initialized, I'm going to add it. Come back to this registration menu. Make sure you select None. Hit Device Search. It'll find the IP camera on the network. Click here. Hit Add. Now it will add the camera using the username and password it propagated over. And it says it gives me a green light. So I'm going to right click, exit out. And I happen to be on channel 5. So if you watch, uh, there are nine channels on this DVR. The first four are B and C, and the next uh, four are actually IP channels. You can actually change channel types for all of them to be IP if you want with a maximum of four megabits per second. But now I'm going to go watch channel five, and you can see the camera there. I was just sitting in front of a window. If I wanted to zoom into it, I can. This is a four megapixel. This is about 35 feet away from the camera. That's pretty much it. This is how easy it is to add an IP camera to your XVR, even if you're on a different network. Uh, what's required is that you have a camera that's a newer camera from us with a firmware that is from at least 2018 and a DVR uh, the same type. This interface that you see, uh, this is our Generation 2 interface. Um, 
this video pertains to that. And the video is also can be used for a Generation 2 interface NVR as well on how to add IP cameras on a different subnet. Thanks for watching.